Windows 11 is a great operating system to use but sometimes stuff can go wrong. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candela Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix DirectX 11 not being installed on your Windows 11 PC. So the first thing that we're going to do is to reinstall our GPU drivers. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can uh, first just press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and head over to the device manager. And here find your display adapters and then you will see all graphics cards in your system. Simply right click one, click on update driver and then click search automatically for drivers. As you can see, I already have the best drivers installed for my particular system, but that might not be the case for you. So make sure you do that. Other than that, uh, depending on whether you have an NVIDIA AMD or Intel GPU, you might have to also use their respective apps to install your GPU driver updates. For example, I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'll just fire up the NVIDIA app. Once it loads up, I'll head over to drivers. And then in here, I have the option to check the driver updates. And as you can see, I already have the latest driver installed, but I can go ahead and reinstall it from here if I want. Additionally, uh, make sure that you have the game ready or the studio driver installed based on what you're using uh, your system for. Moving on, the next step is to install uh, the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. Now, uh, I have a link to this page in the description below. But essentially, what you have to do is come up to this page, uh, scroll down to this headline, uh, if the website doesn't already do that for you. And then based on whether you have an ARM, uh, uh, ARM Windows, x86 or 32-bit Windows or 64-bit Windows, download the particular installer for your version and install the latest version of Visual C++ Redistributables. They should be on your system for the most part, but they can sometimes go missing or be broken and this can help you fix that. Moving on, uh, you should also try running an SFC scan if no fix has worked for you to this point. Now to do this, simply press the Windows key and search for command prompt. In here, we're going to launch this as administrator, give it the permissions that it needs. And in here, you simply have to type SFC, SFC slash scan. Now, press enter and wait for the process to finish. Once it's done, it would have downloaded any missing files or corrupt files on your system and replaced them with fresh working files that should get this error resolved. Finally, if nothing else works, as you might know by now, the DirectX is an integral part of Windows, which means updating Windows can also fix problems with DirectX. To do this, press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and head over to Windows Update. Uh, in here, as you can see, I am updated, but you can manually check for updates by clicking the check for updates button. And this should tell you if you have any pending updates to install. If you do have any, make sure you go ahead and install them. And uh, that should hopefully fix the problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.